and we're back. So finishing page 130, and we're gonna move on to activity one. So this video is, is actually centered around activity one, and it's a long video. Okay, so in this picture, the size of triangle ABC and the size of triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime, those are actually the exact same. I mean, if we needed to, a couple of cheese it ways that we could do this is we could trace, so I guess I have it right here. I have the original shape, flipped. I have the original shape and I could do rise over run in order to figure out the distance of AC. But when we do the rotation, it's the same, although they're switched, they're the same rise and run, which means that they're the same distance. That is true for AC and A prime, C prime. So that's what I'm gonna write down, down here. I'm gonna go AC, the measure of AC is equal to the measure of A prime, C prime. Hey, you guys, you need to be quiet. Then we're gonna go from AB, same thing, rise and run. It's gonna be exactly the same. So we're gonna say down here, the measure of AB is equal to the measure of A prime, B prime. The measure of BC is equal to the measure of B prime, C prime. And that happens. What that means is that an isometry, it's when you take a shape and you change it, but you get the exact same shape back. And so in the change, the, the size of the triangle didn't change. It stays the same size going from one triangle to the next but it's in a different location. So for this reason, yes, the rotation is an isometry, right? Isometry means the transformation keeps the same size. Hey, can you go sit down, please? Thank you. you go sit down. Okay. All right, now. Let's go page 131. So page 131 is activity one. And there's a lot of notes in here in the first part. So have your highlighters. This is really about, this video is really about activity one. Highlight the important words along with me, follow along. So I'm gonna highlight where it says, habits of mind, we're gonna attend to precision. So attending to precision means, yeah, thank you little one. Oh, that's wonderful, okay. So habits of mind, attending to precision, a rotation is a function that maps its input to another output. And we saw that in our first example, second example, about the points moved to new spots, they were rotated. Uh, here's the thing, a circle, right? We know what a circle is, but did you know that it's formally defined as the distance every point is to the middle? On a circle, every point on a circle is the same distance from the middle, from the center. And if we take that circle and we draw like an arc, so an arc is just part of a circle, like that would be an arc. That's it, right? That's really it. An arc is creating then what we say a central angle. So this is the central angle, or they even oh, I highlighted and didn't show it. So the angle in the middle, right? The angle that goes from that ray to that ray, creating a, a piece of a pie, you know, a slice of pizza. That point is, this measure of this is the central angle. So we have notation. I have that poster on the wall that says transformation notation. We're gonna add to it our rotation, transformation notation. That's a lot of shunt. Write a function of the form R, so it's capitalized, pay attention to the capital letters, All right? So here we go, R, and then it uses an E because that's the point in the middle. So we're gonna say rotation around point E, and then we're gonna talk about the central angle as the, the value that replaces T, so 90 degrees in this case, 90 degrees. That could also be a plus or minus. Then we put in parentheses the thing that we're doing it to. We are rotating around the point E with a 90 degree angle. We're going to rotate point A. And that means A is going to go over here and land on A prime. 
Hint, I'm gonna put that on the poster, like, you know, what is the notation here? And I'm gonna say page 131 is the suggestion. All right. You wanna get on the video too? Yeah. I don't want you on the video right now, sit down. So, uh, my name is Graydon. That was a lot of Asians, and that's my dad. You know him. He's uh, your teacher, Mr. LeBrand. Uh, I'm going to save this video so four years from now I can play it when he's my student and embarrass him in front of all of the kids. Dad! Go sit down. Just wait. Okay, describe the relationship between EA and EA prime. Well, because they're actually radii on a circle, they're the exact same length. So we can say the measure of EA equals the measure of EA prime. One time, but then you have to go away. Hello. Oh my gosh, get out of here. And that's my daughter Rowan, go away. Okay. Uh, next page. Okay, get that right here. Positive rotations turn counterclockwise. I'm gonna highlight with a different color. Negative rotations turn clockwise. So counterclockwise, clockwise. Hope that little like circle with an arrow on it conveys the direction. Let's go to page 132. Page 132 is actually where you get to practice it. So I'm gonna break the video after doing A. I'm gonna ask you to do B and C. Ooh, C is a tough one. I'll do A. I'll see what I do. I'll do them all. I'm thinking about it like what would make the video shorter. Now nah, you can just put it in double speed and play to the end. Now, rotate each point on the circle as described. Then write a function to describe the rotation. This is page 132. Now, now the way that we can handle this with a 90 degree rotation is actually to use a protractor. And because it says counterclockwise, that means this way going around the shape. Okay, so here goes. Um, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna actually draw, I need like some space underneath of this. So I'm gonna kind of slide this to the right. I got some paper underneath. Now I would actually suggest like maybe using like a sticky note or something too. That can kind of help extend the side of the circle. But I don't have any on me right now. So I've got paper on underneath of this. Now, uh, a counterclockwise rotation means we're gonna rotate it this way to the left counterclockwise, and I'm gonna spin the protractor, keeping the center of the protractor on the central angle, the center of the circle. Now my line right here on the protractor, I'm gonna put it exactly over point B, and then I'm gonna make a mark out here at 90 degrees. Don't mess with anything. Keep the mark at 90 degrees, keep E, trace the line. Ooh, don't change it, don't bump it. Here we go, here we go. Tracing this line. This right here is B prime, a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. And then I don't need the paper on the back. All right, now, uh, this one, rotate point C 180 degrees counterclockwise. So rotating 180 degrees literally means that we're gonna take the paper and we're gonna rotate it so that it turns twice, 90 degrees twice. When that happens though, that's actually like doing like a half circle. Looking on the protractor, zero, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Rotating the protractor 180 degrees, that puts us on, so center on E, on C. We're gonna put a mark out here on the other edge. It actually goes through, so I can just trace. I can just trace this. This is going to be a 180 degree rotation just by going over to there. C prime. I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to say you need to do part C. Now a counterclockwise rotation it means I'm rotating it this way. So it went like that. I need to add the notation. I'm sorry, I'm missing this part. And then I'm going to say you need to do part C and then catch me on the next video. So for the first one, R, it's a rotation around point E and it's rotating 90 degrees. Because it's counterclockwise, it's a positive 90 degree rotation. 
It's of point B, and it's going to go to B prime. Uh, this other one does the exact same thing. It's a rotation around point E. Use a comma. It's by positive 180 degrees. We're rotating point C. Different letters. We're rotating point C to C prime. All right, I'm going to leave it with that. I'm going to ask you to do this last one for your own, and I can check it when I see you guys next. All right, thanks for watching this video. There is another part. Play that one as well as you will, and we'll finish this one out. Thanks.